I can't believe this company is making me work late once again today. I bet it's because this place is run by a high school graduate that there's never any work getting done on time here, right? How come a recently graduated new hire like myself has to stay late in order to help get work done here? Melody, I'm so sorry to hear about this. But please remember that if you're going to talk with me over text like this, please start by saying hello and introducing yourself. Were you never taught something such as that back when you were still in school? In most companies, it's custom to speak to another one of your co-workers with some amount of respect by greeting them first. My god, you care way too much about something as inefficient as that. <laughs> That's it right there. That's what I'm talking about right now. It's because you worry too much about things like that that this company is going downhill. No wonder this company's never able to grow any larger than the size it's stuck at now. <laughs> you think this is what's stopping this company from growing? Well, this company is run by those who probably know a lot more about what they're doing than we know. So I'd suggest that people like you and me should not get worked up over what's going on higher up. I understand that having to work late all the time is not good, but luckily this company offers you overtime for your hard work. And that right there is just complete and total nonsense. Would you please stop pushing your agenda onto me like that? I really don't care about this company's policies and the fact that you want me to greet you before we get to talking. At least I'm actually getting some work done around here, unlike others I've seen. The thing I want you to understand, though, is that if the person in charge had actually gone to college and graduated, then this company would be getting somewhere. Isn't that something everyone working in this company should be aware of? Are you saying that already understanding the fact that I never went to college? Well, I suppose I am. Considering that you somehow became a manager here and seem to think you know it all. But I'm the one that's actually went and gotten myself an education, and had you done the same, you'd understand what I'm talking about. You'd understand that by making a new hire like myself stay late to finish up others' work, you're not being a good manager at all. That means nobody running this company can see how inefficient everything is. What exactly are you trying to get at here? I don't need you beating around the bush any longer, so get to your point already. You really suck at understanding things, huh, Aubrey? <laughs> what I'm saying here is that we would all be better off with someone like yourself, who only graduated from high school, going off and joining a larger company as a base-level employee. And that goes for all the rest of the uneducated higher-ups and employees here. They should all go and have a taste of what it's like working for actual companies that know what they're doing. Listen, Melody. You have only just joined this company and have not really even put in a month's worth of good work. So you have no right to say something like that about me or anyone else in this company. First, I want you to actually start doing your own job correctly, to the point I can call it perfect before you start to suggest things like that to me. I've already been doing my work to the standards set by PDCA. <laughs> I also happen to have graduated from a university and am on another level compared to all you high school graduates. Yet I'm still having to sit in this office surrounded by idiots who can't seem to do their jobs right. Basically, what I'm saying is my talent and my education is being used to clean up all their messes, right? Oh, if you're going to bring something like that up, then please allow me to say this. The kind of work that you've been completing and handing in to me has not been perfect. Or at least to the standards this company tries to hold. Just a little while back, a report that you handed in was full of mistakes that you would have been able to correct had you gone through and proofed your papers. Also, the way you constructed said report was a bit off, and the writing made it seem as though I was reading something a middle schooler wrote. Did you notice any of those mistakes before handing in the report? Well, here's the thing. You would never understand the kind of work I'm capable of doing. I must be too smart for all of you, because that report I handed in was perfect. Even though there were simple spelling errors that made it in the report as well? The reason I made all of those errors was for all your guys' sake. Had I spelled things the way they were supposed to be spelled and used larger words, none of you higher-ups would have been able to read my report in the first place. I wouldn't want you all misunderstanding the hard work I've put in, alright? <laughs> that doesn't seem to be the case, though. You seem to only be saying that as a way of covering up the fact that you never took writing seriously back in school. None of what you've handed in so far is up to par with either business-based languages or business-based etiquette. 
I've had a hard time so far reading the work you've handed in because it is all too vague, and there are plenty of grammatical errors that even an English teacher wouldn't be able to fix. What? <laughs> if you really want to play a major part in this company, in this world, then you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Most employees do their best to make their work legible and efficient to read. One of the ways they do that is by using more difficult vocabulary and keeping the grammar basic but respectable. That's what I expect you to be handing in as well. Not this poorly written nonsense that ends up being thrown in my trash can at the end of the day because there is no benefit to even trying to decipher it. That just happens to be your opinion on my work, right? You are all below me in terms of education, and that's why you can't understand the type of writing I use. Right? I'm only writing like that in order to help you all have a chance to understand me. But if you're not going to accept my kindness, then that's all the more reason why this company is so low level. <laughs> Look, Melody. Right now you're talking down about the company you both applied for and been hired into. Why would you make comments like that about this company when you made the conscious choice of coming and joining us? Let me tell you right now, I never took looking for a career that seriously. That's why I'm in a circus like this company right now. You, however, seem to be the one that's misunderstanding what position they're really in. You're supposed to be a manager, yet you keep complaining about my easy-to-read and perfectly crafted report. Saying things like the wording being unprofessional and that the grammar is bad. <laughs> I think that you, being a brainless high school graduate, plays a major part in your complaining, old lady. <laughs> do you have any idea what you're saying to your boss right now? I sure do, Aubrey. But if I don't keep talking to you like this, you'll never get it, right? I need you all to know just how inefficient your company is. That's why I'm currently taking this time to tell you how stupid everything is here and that you all need college degrees or something. Melody, please listen to what I'm about to tell you right now. I'm not sure where you learn to think like that in life. You can just get away with belittling others because you have a college degree. But in the real world, things do not actually work that way for you. Maybe you were forgiven in college for being rude and childish, but here it will not be accepted. If you don't start to understand that and, ch and change that mannerless attitude of yours, things will become very difficult for you in this world. Ah, there it is. <laughs> All of you older women are like that, talking like they know about everything. This world is not forgiving. You must listen to your elders. Learn how to be responsible. That's what you've all been saying to me. Like, you have any idea what the real world is like now. And if you stick around long enough in the real world, you begin to understand that what we're saying is true. Well, I don't want to listen to all of that baseless and shallow preaching from people like you. Now, what I'd like you to take from this conversation today is that I can't work with anyone here. Everyone is slow, and I am never getting any support from any of them. Everyone here is just completely brain dead, so would you please just fire me already? Why are none of your coworkers ever supporting you? It doesn't matter if they graduated from high school or college, they are all getting the same kind of work as you. If you'd like to support with something, then come to one of the higher ups and ask. They should not be expected to come and help you, as they all have work of their own and are not bound to helping you. And one other thing, people in your position shouldn't really need any help, as the work you're doing is both basic and given a lot of time to be completed. Well, I'm telling you right now that them not ever working to help me is because they don't have the brains to do so. And that's because they all never got a college education. So you should maybe start hiring educated people to come work here instead of these brainless and slow zombies. Ah, but of course, you are also in the same boat as all of them, so you'd never be able to understand what I'm saying here. Well, it's whatever, I guess. Make sure to start getting everyone in your department to actually finish their work on time for me, please. Your job as my subordinate is to make sure that you have your work done on time. If you don't want to have to stay late at work every day, then become more efficient, while also making less careless mistakes. You've just graduated from college, which does not mean anything to this company, and you need to be aware of that. Don't start blaming me for always having to stay late. See you tomorrow! Melody. <coughs> Aubrey, hello. I have something that I'd like to check on with you. Can you spare me a little bit of your time? 
Hello, Selena. Hopefully you've been having yourself a good day today. You can go ahead and say what you'd like to say. Did something happen? Um, I'm not too sure that what I have to talk about is something I should be bringing up with one of my managers, but this has to do with Melody. And that's why I think it might be okay to talk with you. Melody? Did something bad happen between you and her? To be frank, having to work around her a lot of the time is a real hassle for me. She's always telling me to handle her work for her, making it more and more difficult for me to get my own tasks managed. And it's not just me, but a few other people in the department that she's starting to upset. We all have tried to voice our feelings to her, but that seems to only make things worse. So that's what's been happening. But why would someone like her be asking all of you to start handling her work for her? Is it because she's not able to get all that work done by herself? If that's the case, I just told her she needs to come to me or another higher up about having too much work on her plate. Well, it could also be the case that it's too much work for her. But I think that the main reason behind all of this is... Well, it's because she loves to look down on all of us who never went to college... She feels that it's her right to force all of your work onto us because she was able to graduate from a university. Ah, I see. That woman really seems to hold a lot of pride in the fact that she graduated from college. And that's led her to also thinking that she can make fun of those who don't have the same education as her. Is that the reason why even now you're still at your desk and haven't gone home? No, I'm getting it all done right now and we'll head home. But I have to be honest, I'm really getting burnt out right now, having to do all of her work on top of my own. I would really love to just be able to focus on the tasks given to me. I don't think it's okay that a new hire like herself gets to take it easy by forcing everyone around her to finish her work. I really don't like what's going on here, and that's why I've come to you. I see, Selena. Thank you for letting me know about this. The fact that even with her pushing all of her work onto you, you're still able to finish both loads on time is good motivation for me to have you promoted soon. But you should not have to work that much within this company, and neither should anyone else in the department. I'll make sure to handle Melody and to see to it that it never happens again. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me. Once again, thank you for taking the time to let me know about this. You're really going to keep forcing me to work with all these brain-dead zombies? I already asked you once to fire me, and now I might have to take it upon myself to leave this company. The day isn't even over with yet, and I'm not sure why you're getting so upset. Are you really going to leave this company because of what you find to be others working less efficiently than you? I can't believe that you're still talking to me like that when I graduated from a university and you didn't. Really, though, it would be nice if you gave me your job and came and joined all these useless idiots around me. <laughs> all I did was tell you about those mistakes you've been making on your reports recently and about the way you've acted towards your manager. Also, I heard about how you've been pushing off a lot of your work onto your other co-workers of yours. I cannot allow you to do things like that anymore, and that's why I've started to warn you about it in person. The way you're getting upset with me for trying to warn you is not the way a self-respecting adult should behave. Stop preaching to me, you old hag. It's getting on my nerves for real now. I don't even get how you were able to become a manager for this company considering you never went to college. But now you're literally making no sense at all, so how am I supposed to continue working for all of you? <laughs> I see. I'm not sure how you're supposed to work in an environment like this then. I'll get to work on having you fired then. This company's going to fall apart soon. And letting a high-spec college graduate like myself go is going to be the thing that brings this company down. You'll all see. And we'll get to see if you're able to find another job after today. Good luck, Melody. After losing me, things have been very, very tough there, right? I guess I have no choice but to go back there and save you all from going bankrupt now. <laughs> Is that you, Melody? Long time no see. I'm not really sure what you're going on about right now, but that's okay. I just want to know why you think you're coming back here now. Does this mean that you never ended up finding another job for yourself and expect we'll let you back in? I never said I didn't find anywhere else to work. 
It's just that recently I remembered all of you guys in that company. I know that after having let me go, you've all been struggling to keep the company afloat, right? That's why now I'm saying that I'll give up all the other jobs I could be getting to come back and save all your skins. Ah, oh, well, if that's the case for you, then don't worry yourself too much because this company is doing just fine. Actually, ever since we got rid of you, all the employees in my department have been working a lot more efficiently and they haven't had to work late all month. Thank you so much for giving me the idea of getting rid of you. <laughs> huh? There's no way things are going that well, right? I graduated from college, all right? I will always be way better than all the high school graduates that company chose to hire. <laughs> well, look, Melody, how much longer do you think you can keep using your educational background as a way of bragging about yourself? In this world, the only thing worth bragging about is how well you get your work done once you've joined a company. Nobody cares about where you graduated from or with what degree. Well, before I could actually get any decent work done there, I left, right? Once I'm back in there, I'll make sure to show you all what a college graduate like myself can really do. I wonder about that one, Melody. What? After you were out of here, all the employees that only hold high school diplomas started to work a lot better again. A lot of them are already on track to be promoted or getting raises now. Ever since you were ousted and all of that work you forced them to do has disappeared, they've all been able to get their work done ahead of schedule. Um, I see. So they all finally started to take the work I was giving them seriously, and that led to them all becoming a bit more efficient. That's what you're saying, right? The work you were forcing them all to do was your work and only yours. Not a single person said it was okay for you to go around the office like that making others do your work for you. None of your co-workers nor the higher-ups were okay with that. But I was doing all of that in order to get them all to be closer to the level I'm at and better employees. You have to understand that the work they've been getting done this month was all because of me. Then that must mean the level that you were trying to get them to work at wasn't all that impressive. You went through all that trouble to make other people do your work for you, and yet you still did not make a good impression here. That just goes to show you that your pride in being a college graduate is no use to you, and that it's only going to continue to drag you down. I can see that. But if you let me back into that company, I'll make sure to get my work done by myself. And then you'll begin to notice my true strength, and I'll be promoted to even higher positions than the rest of them. I know that'll happen. You all will be happy to have me back, and the company will be able to start growing again. Melody, why were you not able to find another job? I remember you saying to me that you'd go join a larger company because there was no way an employer would say no to you. What ended up happening that caused you to want to come back here? Well, about that. Nobody was able to see just how important of a person I really am. No matter what I'd say and explain to them, they just never managed to understand me. In other words, I'm such an amazing person that it's kind of become a problem for me. <laughs> Are you sure all of that wasn't just happening because of what I told other companies about you? And I'm sure whenever you did get an interview, your lack of business etiquette didn't carry you very far. I was only using the most basic of words that us college graduates know and make sure to act just like I'd expect any company to expect from me. Anyone that actually went to college would understand the way I was talking and acting, to be honest with you. <laughs> then tell me, what was the end result of you acting and talking like that? Was you acting all cool and, and acting like you knew more than those who were interviewing you enough to land you a position in any of those companies? Well, um, I'm far too important for any of those companies, and that's why they couldn't hire me. Overqualified is what they call that, right? They didn't think that someone as high level as me should be wasting their time in their companies. Well, if that's how you want to see things, then go ahead and keep believing in that. However, to me and the rest of this company, we do not need you to work for us, so go out and keep looking for a job, please. I'm sure that there's some place in the world that'll understand just the kind of special you really are and are willing to hire you. Huh? Why aren't you guys hiring me back? I just graduated from a university and am saying that I'll come back and work for this company that's filled with brainless high school graduates. Go on and fire one of those losers and take me. Please. By doing that, you'll be helping out the company a whole lot. When you had been working for this company, you didn't do anything worth our payroll. However, all of those that you deem too stupid to work alongside you have been doing so well this past month that they're all beginning to get bonuses, using the money we no longer have to hand to you. 
There's no point in me firing one of them just to have a useless worker like you come back to the office. You just don't get it because you're a high school graduate yourself. That's why you keep thinking that all your other little high school diploma holding buddies are better than me. That is not at all fair. And I find it very unfair that you believe you should be hired back in this company only because you made it out of college. You never did anything worthwhile in this company. Excuse me? Did you just say that to me? A college graduate wasn't worthwhile there? Just because you could study in college does not mean you're automatically fit to work a job. Then tell me what I need that is more important than my degree. You need to have the ability to take responsibility for your own work as well as communicate properly with your coworkers and higher-ups. You also need to have a basic understanding of a company structure and not speak out of line when talking about something you have no idea about. I do agree that going to college is very important for some companies, but for this one, that's not the case. We happen to take pride in the employees we have because they show discipline and get their work done. You have no idea who I even am, then! Before you could even get around to showing us you were disciplined and could actually do your work properly, you asked to be fired and left. So please don't start saying that I don't know you, when I know you better than even yourself knows you. Now you take responsibility for your actions and go find yourself a different job. And in the meantime, take a moment to actually think long and hard about your future and that it'll take more than just a simple degree from college to make you successful. Understood. And I would really like to learn about all those things now. So please hire me back so that I can learn them within that company. No. There is no reason for this company to have you back. It would only be a demerit for us here, so once again I have to say no. Why the hell not? While you were out this past month failing at finding yourself a new job, the rest of my department had been getting all their work done and pushing this company forward. I do not have the time or patience to hire you back and have you work here again, trying to teach you everything most of them already knew before they were hired in. Well, it's not my fault. The company is filled with a crap load of high school graduates. And I thought it would be better for me to leave and join a company filled with college graduates than keep working with a bunch of people less efficient than me. And you would have only found the same thing in those other companies. They might now have the same amount of high school graduates as we do working for them. When it comes down to things like efficiency and having to stay late, they too would suffer by having you in their ranks. I understand what you're trying to say, but the only difference in my understanding from yours is that you are the reason there are so many problems. You think it's okay to pawn off your work onto others, making them less efficient. And along with that, you go around belittling those very co-workers that are already being forced to do your work for you. This company does not need you. We do not want you. Please, I get that what I was doing wasn't right, but if you don't take me back, then I'm going to end up some kind of shut-in that has to move back with their parents' house. I will work a lot harder now and take responsibility for my work, so please give me another chance. I was hoping to join one of those huge companies and make loads of money. I took out a lot of money from my savings and have even gone into debt now, buying all kinds of expensive suits to make myself look good in those interviews. Melody, you really have no method to your madness, do you? And I don't mean this just because you lack being a proper office worker, but because you lack being a proper member of the society we live in. Don't think that someday this world will spoil you for always talking about how high-leveled you are, or whatever that means. It won't. And it never will until you start to prove yourself in a very serious and respectable manner. Now you leave me alone and go learn the hard way that it's not your education that defines you but the willpower and experience you bring to the table. <coughs> After that, Melody to continue to text me and call all the phones in the office asking to speak to me about getting her job back in the company. I blocked her on my phone after a day of non-stop notifications from her, but with her calling the office so many times, I finally caved that she could start working part-time to show that she would change, without telling her what job would be. And without telling her what the job would be, she said yes, and the following day was introduced to me telling her she'd be a janitor for the company. At first, she would make snarky comments around me and others about how she should be working in the office like the rest of the com- So to get her to stop bothering everyone during the day, I changed her schedule so that she'd have to come in at night. This only started to degrade her spirits even more, and soon after that, she just stopped showing up. 
She went out once more to look for work, but still couldn't find a company who would even dare hire her, which then sent her back to her parents' house. There, she turned into a real shut-in, relying on both her parents to do everything for her. She really did have all her pride put in her education and not a single thing else. However, this world does not care about one's educational background when they have nothing to show for besides college debt and a sheet of paper. I hope what happened to her has opened her eyes a little and that someday she turns her life around by getting a simple part-time job somewhere where she can start to learn about what it really takes to be a proper employee. Well, that's the life she's going to have to live now and it really has nothing to do with me. So no matter what path she chooses to go down next, I won't have anything to do with it. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.